Hello and welcome to our daily sketching routine. It is Saturday, November 23rd, 2024, and today's topic will be painting medieval town. So, before we begin, I'm going to be coughing, so I'll edit out the coughs, just so you know, I do have a cough. Uh, yeah, before we begin, welcome back. If you're returning, welcome. If you're new, I sketch and post every day, and I use timers to stay focused and build a daily sketching habit. So, I'm going to start. I usually do five minutes. And I'm going to do 10, though, because sometimes that's the better one. So, yeah, I started a 10-minute timer. And if you just want to use these videos as a way to keep you company while you build a sketching habit or an art habit, then feel free to do that. So I do have a lot of things I want to go over. As you can see, this is basically a continuation of yesterday's video. Um, and I'll go over what I did, uh, but at some point I will put up the, the previous, the thumbnail, the, yeah, like the color study from yesterday's video. If you want more details, if you want to know like the process and a lot of other ideas, then I encourage you to check out yesterday's video. I think it's helpful. Uh, this one will be a continuation, so I won't go over the same exact same thing, but I will connect this to uh, the process, like the whole process, because I was being methodical on purpose and I'm making it a point to uh, be methodical because I'm making these videos. And of course, for my own sake. Um, yeah, so be to begin with, or to get started, this is where I'm at. And this took about two hours from the previous video, from the color study to this. So this is about two hours. This picture is about maybe three times as big as the thumbnail. And so that plays a part. The other thing is that this page, um, if you want to check out, I'll put a link in the description to this particular video, but originally it was called sketching on a blank page. And so it could be that uh, like facing the blank page could be a challenge or starting a sketching habit could be a challenge. So that's why I made this video basically. Um, or the previous video, basically, uh, I just did like this part <laughs> and it was just to show like how to start on a blank page, but then I turned it into a montage, like from yesterday's video, like I talked about. Um, so there's going to be like different scenes and, and yeah, that's the basic layout. All right, so that's what's going on here. And yeah, I tend to do things from an illustration standpoint, from a kind of personal style kind of thing, also world building um, while using basically like traditional ideas, but used sort of in a, in a unique way. So with that said, um, yeah, it took a couple of hours and the first thing I want to go over is, uh, one that I went off of the color study. So it was the same color scheme. I didn't introduce any new colors, but the way I used it, um, was different. It was more detailed and I'll go over that, but like, it's the exact same color. So again, if you want to know what that is, you can check out the previous video. Um, but, but because the picture is bigger, 
then you can have more detail, which is why I don't like to do color studies that are like this size because I can really detail it and then that's going to slow me down. If I were to do one that was kind of bigger, I would definitely keep it very broad and very like loose so I don't get bogged down in the detail because I'm going to detail it some more here. And so uh, part of that is because of the size of the like the tools I'm using. So I'm using these um, creative, Sharpie creative markers like acrylic markers basically as paint brushes um, and then the the felt tip like color pens are basically smaller brushes and, <clears throat> and so let me kind of go over like the step from the color study to this so in the previous video I mentioned that if you're doing something and you need to concentrate then you shouldn't well I don't recommend making a video of it because it's, it's gonna mess you up so um, so that's why I didn't and because I wanted to figure out what I'm doing and now that I have um, I can talk about it more and also uh, make videos in the future like about like some of this stuff but um but if you are curious i mean you can kind of see my process in all the videos since i post every day um, so from the color study uh, like i mentioned i use the exact same colors the exact same tools um, but the picture is bigger so i can be more detailed but originally i put the color down very broad and the the reason the color study helped is because I didn't have to think about that part and I already had a composition but from the thumbnail I could see that I needed to figure out something here so again I'm, I'm gonna put up I'm looking at the, the, the before picture on my laptop but um, I'll put it up here for a little bit um, but I knew I had to do something with this area I knew I had to do something like with the the road uh, I added like this little thing Mainly I added this because I, I was making the road look better and so it I needed more space over here. Plus it was also because of just the picture. I wasn't trying to copy the thumbnail. And of course I added more detail to like the town. Um, and then like I added some bridges because I thought that looked nice. Um, but yeah, I, I laid down the color very loose and I didn't have to think about like the values. I didn't have to think about like the color because I had already figured it out in the uh, in the thumbnail. And so that's the benefit of that. It It's one less thing I have to think about. And so I can just think about like the drawing and stuff. And like the details and stuff like that. Um, now, with that said, also, when when I work on something for like a couple of hours or for like kind of a, an extended period of time, it's good to leave it and go to sleep and come back to it later, which I'm doing right now. Then you can see like what's going on, like with fresh eyes. So I'll, the next thing is I'll kind of talk about as I compare this to the the color thumbnail um, like what I would do so in the thumbnail the the purpose of it and it's it's also kind of a it's kind of a skill also to make thumbnails and it's sort of like note-taking like everybody has their own way of taking notes but it's kind of a skill that you develop and it's personal I mean it's not gonna work for everybody so when I do thumbnails, like there's certain things that I want to know about. And, and that's why I'm being methodical about this because I want to know like how I do my work and how I get the result that I'm looking for. So uh, it's not so much that I have to make it look like the thumbnail, but that like what is good about 
like the preliminary that because at this point this could be an illustration especially if i keep working on it which I'll, i'm going to add more detail and it would be an illustration it would be like production art maybe for my books um, but it's not like a preliminary a preliminary is the thumbnail and so it's not like you have to make it look like the preliminary but it's really about the preliminary is an art unto itself kind of like note taking can also be kind of an art or like sketching can be kind of an art and then you think like what is it about that like the essence of that that i liked because that's why you do a bunch of thumbnails or a bunch of sketches because there's things about it that you like so that's 10 minutes i'll start another 10 minute timer i know that right now it's uh, a lot of me just kind of talking but um <laughs> I'll do a little bit of uh, painting in a second here. Uh, but so just looking at the, the thumbnail, which again, I, I might pop up here, maybe not the whole time, but um, I liked, for example, the the yellow, like on the leaves, like that's kind of a nice look. Now in the thumbnail, it was more, it wasn't that subtle. I just kind of, like it's kind of obvious, but it has like a nice look. So just to begin with, um, like I said, I, I use the exact same colors, exact same tools. Uh, and so what happens is that, let's say I don't have the color study. So this is invented. I mean, it originally like kind of started with a, a, like a reference picture, but it, it looked different even in the sketch. And then the colors and stuff were invented. And so then when I came to do the illustration, this was invented. So you can see where like the originality or like the creativity or the, the uniqueness comes from. So the planning is important so that you can be creative, so that you're not wondering about, gee, I wonder what color that should be. Like that's the whole point of planning. Um, so with that said, uh, just according to the thumbnail, I liked, for example, the balance of like the yellow on the trees, like in the study, in the thumbnail. I like the values because that also shows me like a value. And so you can establish that in a thumbnail. You can figure out like the values. And so what I mean is um, like in the thumbnail the yellow was just sort of on there very loosely but in this case I'm going to add some and what makes something let me zoom in if I can so here we are I'm working on this area so what makes something more finished is like the level of detail so I'm just using the brush and that's what makes this into a painting because I'm using the actual paint that's in the the marker. So this is like a paint marker. And I'm actually painting the individual leaves. So what happens is that as you're working, as you're detailing, you're going to lose some of the essence of the sketch or the thumbnail or the study and sometimes that's okay and then sometimes you need to like bring it back out that's why you should uh, give like give it a rest <laughs> give the the picture a rest and then come back to it just like i am right now where then you can see it better and this what i'm doing right here so we talked about the idea of like the first pass and then the second pass Right now, this is the final detail stage. This is the stage where everything that I put down is incredibly like deliberate. <laughs> like this is the finished illustration that I'm working on. So that means the size of the leaves matter, the way that I apply and where I apply the color like matters. And this should be the fun part. Now, what happens is that if you don't have the study, you can get a little lost because 
there's so much going on there's so much detail and it, it kind of evokes feelings that without a plan you can easily overwork it because you're not going to know and so the plan is sort of there's a saying that says like the map is not the territory so you kind of mapped it out but it's not the territory meaning it isn't the painting like all of the goodness like the of the picture is coming right like right here um, in the way that the the paint is being applied and stuff like that so you, you start off with like a plan and then you kind of start to build but this is the surface stuff. It's like baking a cake where it's like, this is the icing on the cake. But like, the cake should taste good. <laughs> There's no point in having nice looking like decoration. But like, the composition or the drawing or the values are off. Um, and it should read. That's like one of the main things is the whatever it is that you're drawing or you're working on it should read like people should be able to look at it and it doesn't mean it has to look this style but it should evoke the thing that you're wanting to evoke so in this case i'm wanting to evoke like a like a medieval inspired like fantasy town that is particular to like my story so i'm just using the my thumbnail as a, a guide as far as like where the yellow color is but it's not going to be exact i'm not trying to make it look like the thumbnail um, another thing is i liked like in the thumbnail like the reflection over here there's like white so i'm going to add that so i'm going to put a little bit more highlight over here just enough i'll zoom out again so yeah, it's just, it's, it's stuff like that. Um, this video may not be, well, it'll be 20 minutes, which I think is kind of a lot of time, but, um, but maybe compared to my other videos, um, because really like, that's like the main thing is if you really want to know how it's done, then between, well, all the videos that I post, but like yesterday, specifically for something like this and then to get here you can part of it is figuring out like how to do it I'll, I'll i'll make more videos obviously but um but sometimes you really do have to just not make a video and uh, and just focus on what you're doing um i feel like the fundamentals like the basics of it like the the secret if you will is was in the previous video like that's actually how it's done and then the doing of it is here the picture is bigger so you can add more detail but like the other thing was like a map for for this if, if that makes sense and i did start um very broadly and then the next thing would be just deciding for example so yeah like i said i used all the same colors and so i'm going to add a little bit more highlights and and that's what i mean like with the thumbnail it kind of shows me like i don't have to think so much about the i'll just keep it at the zoom level so see these are like the final details and I don't have to think so much about, I wonder what color like this area should be because I already can see that it looks okay in the, in the thumbnail, like that's what it's helping with now. And then as I work on it again, take your time at this part, 
Um, then you can add like like fine details because really it's the details that really make the picture but it's the the planning that makes it successful but it's the details that make it pretty I mean yeah I'll admit that the, the thumbnail isn't pretty <laughs> like it, it's not meant to be pretty but if I see it um, when I see that like like I already know like it, it'll be a good picture and then this part is just kind of it's work but it's enjoyable because I already know that the picture will, will work and as I was developing it I just kept referring back to the thumbnail to kind of tell me things like like should it be darker right here or not so that's another 10 minutes I'll start to wrap this up I'll start a five minute timer um, same with like the sky right here uh, when I put the the blue color because in the thumbnail it got lighter but I went ahead and like I said just use like a this is what I used yesterday for the thumbnail I just went darker when this in the sky instead of trying to make like this like add like white or, or a lighter color or something which I could um, but basically as far as like painting is concerned you tend to want your like thicker more opaque areas to be like the light and not like the dark areas you want to bring like the the thicker paint um, forward because of just the the way the light reflects on it and everything um, now some of this I'm gonna leave because I have like other areas I'm gonna do like a dragon and so I'm I'm ending up making this into a like a montage and also like a, a mood board for my story So I can zoom in and let you see some details. And really the next step is to add more detail, um, which part of that is just taking time. Um, but yeah, I'll do more videos. But part of why I don't necessarily show like exactly how I got this is because it's not so much because this is my particular style that not everybody is going to want to do anyway so um, and I do show a lot of videos of how to how to do what I'm doing it's just that not everybody wants to make a picture like this um, so yeah like I was saying it's particular to to like I'm writing a book series and world building but what I'm going to do is go ahead and sign off for today. I know it was mostly kind of talking, but I think it was helpful and important for the for picture making purposes. Uh, another thing is I kind of wanted to maybe yeah, it's just it's like that actually changed it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to lighten this area a little bit, but by lightening that, that kind of balanced things out. And there's just like other little details. I think that'll be good for this video. So I want to thank you for joining me today. And uh, yeah, I also want to thank, uh, thank you for uh, helping the channel reach uh, 2,000 subscribers. That's just mind-blowing and uh really encouraging and uh, I'm gonna post a little <laughs> thank you sketch yeah and thank you for your support so until next time keep on sketching